it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're doing another 3D letter. We're actually doing the number zero or the letter O, I guess, depending on how you look at it. But this is part of my series of doing 10K. So here's the one that we did yesterday with um, the Grinch, right? So the ornament spins, this says 10K. And then on the other side of the ornament is thank you. So I wanted to kind of do, um, but like a gold theme on each one of the numbers will be the overall thing that connects everything. So you can see I have a lot of gold outlines on this one and then I have the butterflies one that will be the last one. So anyway, on this one, I um, if you've been following me, I have recently found needle labels and I absolutely love the quality of their paper. I don't know, if, I mean, this to me looks like a professionally printed sticker. So it's Ariel, I decided to try this. So normally I, I do print and cut on paper, um, but I decided to use their sticker label and then I'm gonna put it on the exact backing, like the size of the blue is the exact size of the sticker and then I did an outline of gold glitter cardstock and then gold metallic around it just to give it like fancy it up a little bit. So all right, let's get started. I have a lot of fun things I want to do today. So here is the O or the zero. So I like to do the front side first. So how I like to do it so that I don't get myself confused is I always do the front side first because you have more room to fix things. Once you put that down, the back side is a lot harder. There's just less room for your hands to be in there. And if you have big fingers or big hands, which I don't even think I do, but it was still very difficult for me. So I always like to do the front side first. Um, so let's get that out of the way. So I'm just gonna move all my pieces here. I kind of wanted a layout so I can know what everything looks like and whether or not I need to edit. So. I want to get all that out of the way before we get started because I want to know if I need to cut anything else. But I think I like the way everything looks. So for me, this is how I do it. I flip this over so that it just is a reminder that this is the front. So I'm putting my numbers or my tabs here. Now for the tabs, I always feel like it's pretty um, obvious where everything is. These two are of equal sizing and they're on the outside. This one is smaller, it's the inside. So once we fold the inside, it's gonna stay propped up like this. And so you can kind of see just like this. What we're folding right now are the tabs, right? The front side and the back side are the same. That's gonna be the O or the zero. And in this case, the tabs will give, us, give it the height that we're, that is the 3D letter. Okay, so, all right. Um, when you're folding this, I want you to fold both ways. It's just easier to get going while it's not down. So fold your tabs both ways just to get it going. I do prefer a 110 pound cardstock. I feel like it's just slightly easier to handle. However, this is actually just, it's the middle one. So like 80 pound ish. Um, I did this one just because I wanted this color. I wanted it to be blue. Oh, I'm losing my voice. Um, excuse me. I wanted it to be blue so that it's, you know, ocean water, um, but not distracting. And so I only had this paper to, to work with. Okay, so I did both sides of the, for the zero on the inside. So this is what we're gonna do. So it's basically gonna go like this, right? Like that. So I'm going to flip this out and put tape here. Now the reason why I'm so deliberate about it is because I'm really bad with um, anything like that where it's like you've got to unfold something or piece something together, it's really not my strong suit. <laughs> so I need to make sure, okay, which side am I putting tape on? Okay, so we're tape, we're putting um, tape down on the tabs. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. 
and I'm going to fold it down so it's ready to go. And I did it the wrong way. Are you kidding me? No. Okay, see? That's what I mean. <laughs> I guess it could be. If it was this way, it would be wrong because the tabs would be facing the other way. But it's this way. Oh, I saved myself. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's, because I feel like I can see this really well, I'm going to put down the shortest end first. And then I can put down my tabs here. And now I want to make sure that I get a really good seal. I don't want this popping up ever. So I'm going to press down as much as I can. And I like to take, you know, like a pen or in this case, it's a glue stick to really make sure that it's sticky and down. Okay, now this has a tab right here and it folds in like this to keep it together. So all the tabs, because once it's up, I'm going to use glue. So this is Barely Arts glue. You know I don't like to use glue at all, but when I do have to use glue, I do prefer Barely Art. And it has this really cool... Um, super super preci precise tip right there okay so I'm gonna flip this to the side and I'm going to apply the glue here and then I'm gonna hold it and make sure that it dries properly so here's my little tab I mean look at that it's so good okay <laughs> so I'm gonna put it down flip it over okay and then I'm gonna have a finger on the inside to make sure that it's you know getting really glued down properly because look when I let go it pops out right so I'm just gonna hold it down for the first 20 seconds or so um, in the meantime plug in your glue gun I, uh, I have that heated up on the side because we're gonna need that to create some space so that we can layer everything every layer is going to have space so and that's going to make it really, really extra. Okay, so gosh, it's really not staying. So I definitely prefer to use the double-sided tape when I can, but in this case with the 3D letters, I always have to use a little bit of glue, so. All right, so there, that is completely dry. So the next step is for the outer layer, you definitely wanna do the same thing, fold both ways and get that going. And fold down the tabs both ways as well. This just makes it easier for when we put it down um, just makes it easier to work with because it's really hard to fold it while it's glued on because you also don't want to mess with the, um, with the stability of the glue because if you push down too hard, you might pull it up from the glue and you definitely don't want that either. Okay. All right, so we've got this side down. So let's think about this. <laughs> okay, okay, there. So here we go. We want to tape down this side right here, right? Right. So let me get scratch paper. Okay, here we go. This side. Okay, let's do it. And I do love this Tombow brand. I feel like um, for my projects, it sticks really well. I haven't had any problems because I do sample work and I keep them here to show people. And so my sample stuff has lasted for a really long time. I haven't had any issues with the stickiness. Okay, um, all right, so let's do this. 
I'm going to put down the long side first. I'm going to flip it up just to give myself a little bit more um, flexibility in fixing my mistakes. Okay, so that's down. So I'm just going to put it down and then I'm going to move it over and do the next edge. Okay. And then the next edge and then the final one. And then I'm going to take this because see, you can see how it gets to be a little tight already. And this is only the top side. So I want to get my pen in there to make sure that it, the seal is really down for this tape. Okay. All right. Let's fold this one. This is our last side. I mean, that's the nice thing about the 3D letters is it looks like it's a lot of work for the actual, um, letter or number but it's not it's just a few tabs and it goes down and then you have a top and a bottom and then the rest is going to be the whole designing part of it so then the designing part of it reminds me of a cake topper or a banner but for some reason i feel like it's still very different um i feel like i'm still getting my i don't know a feel for like how much designing needs to go into it how many pieces how many layers so I'm still struggling with this, even though I feel like I have a good handle on my cake toppers, which feels like it should be the same, but it isn't. <laughs> All right, so let's get this one down and make sure that we are taping in the right spot. Okay, so we are taping again the inside right here, and I'm just gonna get out my scratch paper. All right, so that's down. Let's get this in. So I'm gonna press this down as much as I can just to give me some room to not press it down so permanently, like I can put it down a little bit and then work my way around it. So it's all down. I'm gonna take my little glue pen and really make sure that my tabs are down so that my tape is sticking to the back side. Okay, and then now I'm gonna glue this one right here to this. And actually it should be on the inside so that you don't see it. Okay, so. All right, so first one up, whoa, sorry. I know it's autofocus. Come on, focus. Okay, I'm gonna glue the tab. I'm gonna talk my way through it and, until hopefully it autofocuses. Is it not going? I'm gonna give it a second. I'm just putting glue on the tabs like, like you saw me earlier. And you wanna make sure that you're holding it down with your finger so that you get a really good seal with the glue. Oh my gosh. So I'm keeping my finger inside. I know you can kind of see that it's super blurry right now. I don't know what to tell you. Oh man, I hope it fixes itself soon. Um, okay, so it's not drying well. So I'm just gonna hold it. And you see, this is why I don't like it. Can you see the glue on my middle finger? <laughs> Even in its blurry stage, you can kind of see the white, so. Um, oh my gosh, I hope it works soon. I wanna make sure this is dry before I let go and move on to the next piece. Okay, so 
so I think that's good. I'm trying to get it to focus. Do I put my face here? <laughs> okay, so that worked. <laughs> Gotta put my face down. All right, so I'm gonna do this tab over here. And again, just a little, oh, some glue, and then put your hand there to make sure that it dries in the right place. And you can see I'm holding my finger into the tab right there. And then on the outside, oops, you can still make some adjustments until it settles down. Put that there. I'm gonna let it dry for a second before I mess with the tabs because I feel like while it's in place, um, there still could be some movement, so I wanna make sure it's dry. In the meantime, though, we can put that aside knowing that we just have to glue down the top is we could start with this. So this is going to be the top like this, and then this mermaid tail it's going to be on like this. So with this one, oh, I'm trying to think what's the best way to get this down. Since I already have the glue, I may live to regret this. I'm going to do the edges. Anywhere where there's enough of a surface. So this is going to go down flat because it's the scales and it's too hard to do anything to actually lift it up. But I'm just going to get some spots down. Okay. I've got so much glue all over my hands. So, <laughs> okay, let's start working. Ah, and I got glue on my sh beautiful shell. Okay, so on this shell, there's a big enough spot right here. I'm gonna try to put glue uh, foam tape where I can if it's big enough. And I feel like this is big enough for this piece right here, just barely. So anywhere where we can create some space, I want it. And you see with the shell, there's space right there. It really makes a difference. And in person, there's with light, there's like a little bit of a shadow. I think it's perfect. Okay, so squeeze that down, make sure that it's down good. And then we want it on the back as well. So. On the back, we can have a couple different spots, right there, and then also right here. Okay, so we've got that down. Everything, like I said, is gonna have layers. So here's the back of this. Let me just clean my hands because the metallic gold, you can't have anything on your hands. It's gonna show on the paper. And if you happen to get, you know, like when you use your glue gun and you get the little uh, webbing, if you try to scrub it off or scrape it off, you will ruin the, the top of it. You actually need to pick up the webbing and remove it. So, um, yes, learned from experience. <laughs> okay, so here's the coral. And I want the coral to have some space as well. Um, but I think the coral is going to be difficult to do with the foam tape. So instead... I'm going to do little glue dots. So I'm gonna put down a dot and let it dry and that's gonna be the piece that's like giving it some space. Okay. Flip this over and do it as well on this. Okay. 
And then this piece is big enough that we could just put the glue, the glue dots or the, the foam squares. Um, I'll leave it on for now. Okay. Um, let's work on, okay, so this is, I think this is ready to go. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Um, all right, let's work on transferring our sticker. So let's do... Sebastian first. So I'm going to, um, because it's a sticker paper, this is what I want to do. I'm going to cut out Sebastian, right? And I did two copies just because there was space on there and I, just in case. I'm going to cut my sticker paper in half, okay? Not through the sticker, but the backing of the sticker. That way the whole sticker is not exposed, only this little shell, right? And it gives me um, more control over placing down this sticker. So I'm gonna place down just this portion. It's a lot easier for me to just deal with this little part exposed, right? But now that it's in the right place, then I can just peel this off and the rest of this will go down easily, right? Okay, perfect. So he went down pretty easily. So that's him. I'm now gonna layer him. So now I'm gonna put down my, I'm gonna put down this, but I'm also, because he's going on glitter cardstock, I'm going to do a glue dot as well. So I wanna make sure that he is not gonna come off. Okay, so I'm doing that. I'm gonna peel off the sticker. Okay, the gold, same thing. I'm gonna do foam squares and then on the back of this as well. Okay, so let's piece it together. I'm gonna take off Okay, so I'm gonna flip him over, put him down. Okay, and then I'm gonna put him, the top layer, get the tape, oh, the tape is already off, yes. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on my glue dots, if you can see that. Oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, he looks so good. So you see he's got a little bit of the gold glitter cardstock, just a little bit, and then another metallic gold. So it's gold on gold, which I didn't know that I was gonna love, but I do love that look. So, all right, here we go. So he's done, which I think he looks great. Let's do the seaweed. So the seaweed, same thing. We're going to put glue dots on the back. Or foam tape, sorry. I keep interchanging the two. Okay, so that's down. I'm gonna leave it on for now because I don't know where I'm gonna place it just yet. But let's do this one as well. and see if I can maybe get one right there. Okay, so this one we can take off because we're gonna put this one down. Oh my 
gosh. Is it down? Oh, it's down. This one's not. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to actually layer it to the side just to give it like a lot of color and to make sure you can really see it. Okay, so this is three different greens. This one's gonna be tough to give any space, so I might just glue it down. I'm just gonna hit it with some, it's so thin. This one though, I'll pop up a little bit, maybe. And then one more piece that I'm just going to glue down. So you can see from this side, it's got layers. And this, you know what, the cut wasn't good. I'm just gonna cut off the tops where it is fraying a bit. I don't like that look. Okay. So I'm thinking some, let's put down Let's do the coral. So the coral, I think I'm going to do I'm going to do the middle piece first. So this one, we have the glue dots here. We're just going to run some glue on it. And then put it down. And then this one, we're gonna put down the glue and then put it down as well. So that's gonna go somewhere over there. I was thinking the shell somewhere like right here and then we'll put the water bubbles. Okay, let's look at the jellyfish. So the jellyfish is technically, it was four pieces to the one, but I'm gonna make it into two separate jellyfish and then I'm gonna give it depth right here. So let's put this down right here. Gonna have that layer there and then this one's gonna have this layer so they're similar but not like different textures different colors mix mixing the two so I was thinking something like this Okay, so let's see, Where? what else do we need to do? We need to put down Ariel. So same thing with Ariel, like we did with Sebastian, is I'm gonna cut just a portion of her to be sticky. And let's start with, might be easier to do her head. Okay. 
So I'm only, see I'm ripping it so that only her head is exposed where it's sticky. The rest of it is not sticky yet. And I'm gonna put it down so it just gives me more um, flexibility with it not making it easier to work with. So there, that's good. So I think I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time because she's a big sticker. Okay, it looks like she's pretty settled in. So I'm gonna pull off the whole thing. And I may live to regret this. Okay. And there she is, so pretty, I love it. Okay, this one's gonna have a lot of foam tape. Okay, and then as well on this one. So this one's going on glitter, so I'm gonna do some glue dots here just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And what kind of bug is that? <sighs> I don't know what to say. Okay, um, let's put down some foam squares here. So I'm gonna take off the tape here. And actually I'm gonna put some on this one too. Okay, so let's start undoing the tape. See, this is the part that I hate about foam squares. Okay, so this layer is down. I'm gonna flip this one over. So this is the gold on gold. I just, I really like how that looks. I think that's the best angle right there. All right, so let's flip this one over. Let's get all the tape off. So as I was saying with needle labels, I do have a link for them. Um, they're currently running 30% off their, their tape, their paper, so now is a great time to buy it. Got one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna drive me insane. Okay, and then this one is going on the glitter, so I'm also going to hit it with the glue gun. Just to make sure my piece really stays on there. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love it. Um, okay, so let's move all of these pieces out. Let's do the top of this. We, then we, the only thing left we have to do is the water bubbles. Okay, so on, when we're putting on the top piece, you need to flip your tabs up because that's gonna, we're gonna put glue on it and then that way we can push down on the paper and it, it hits the paper and it'll stick better. Okay, so here we go. Uh oh, did it dry? Okay. <gasps> I made a mistake. That was my bottom side. Blah! <laughs> All right, 
great. Oh, okay. I'm just going to put this down. I had glitter paper on the other side. I forgot. Oh, so we're actually doing the back side. I guess we can look at this. I can always recut this blue. Okay, so when you're gluing it down right now, you need to keep your hands in place because there's still a lot of movement. So you want to make sure that wherever you want it to be, you have to hold it in place to let it dry like that. So I think I have it in place as is. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh, I glued down the wrong piece. So this was my top piece, which is now going to be my bottom piece because I'm going to, well, that's a bummer because I won't be able to finish this on video, but I think it's okay because this is definitely the back side. You can kind of see like it's not as good as the first, the top side and it's still moving on me. Okay. gonna hold it down for a little bit longer so I'll explain what I mean um, this was our backside Duh. <laughs> so this top mermaid scale should have gone on my other side so I'm gonna flip it over so you can see see this side had the the blue glitter so anyway I'm gonna flip it over to show you what it looks like if we were to do it on this side. So what I was thinking is, something like that. And then the bubbles so the bubbles we need to layer just like we did with everything else okay so it has three layers it has the gold glitter it has the blue glitter and then it has the shimmer gold on top okay so these are also going to be layered with glue the foam and the glue dots and then they're going to go like this not sure I do something. Like this. It's kind of close to her face. And that last one up there. So I think maybe this one will go down here. All right, so I'm gonna end it here because I have to recut that piece. Ah, I can't believe it. But I think you get the idea. I'm gonna move this, see if you can get a better light. Oh, there. It's so pretty. Let me put it next to the one. So there are my two pieces and then I need to work on the K. All right, thank you so much for joining. I mean, these mistakes, they happen to the best of us. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Um, let me know questions, comments, and then if you have a special request, please post it here as well. If you need to send me a file or anything like that, it's anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, see you.